Hi everyone, it's Rio Cloudsick. In today's session, we're going to quickly demystify and highlight a concern when it comes to ChatGPT. Over the past couple of weeks, ChatGPT have made a critical change where in which end users can now connect their work and school accounts to ChatGPT, which means your employees can now grant access to ChatGPT and other third-party apps using their Microsoft 365 work accounts. Which means in essence, me as an end user, I could potentially pass over corporate data, whether or not that be sensitive information such as credit card numbers, account numbers, or even personal identifiable information into ChatGPT. And if you step back slightly, and if you know anything about ChatGPT and using the free version, you would know anything you put into ChatGPT, whether or not that be work information or personal information, fundamentally trains the large language model, which of course is a security no-no, right? And how we restrict that? Well, there's a couple of options. The first option would be, of course, Defender for Cloud Apps, where we can either sanction or unsanction apps, or even create a custom network indicator. But two, we can restrict end users from um, consenting on behalf of applications, right? So what does this look like? Well, if I come into ChatGPT, I've got the option to upload files. Right. I can even upload files from my local disk, my local PC. Right. I can connect my Google Drive to um, uh, ChatGPT. But the most recent change is I can now connect to my corporate OneDrive, whether or not that be personal or work and school. Now, if I connect to work or school, it redirects me to a page where I can provide permissions to ChatGPT to either read my files read my site collections, um, you know, read files I have access to, or even main, maintain access to data. And once again, this is a big no-no when it comes to security, because um, of course, we don't want ChatGPT having access to our corporate data. Now, how do we stop this? Well, we can go into Enter ID, right? And on the left-hand side, we want to scroll down to Enterprise Applications, and there is an option for User Settings. Within here, you'll have an option for consent and permissions. And by default, and I'm going to re reiterate this, by default, the allow user consent for applications is enabled. We want to flip this to do not allow user consent. Therefore, when a user does go to ChatGPT and try and connect their access work or school account to ChatGPT, um, they would not be redirected or they would not be able to accept the permissions requested. Right. This is a quick video around the con potential concerns around allowing users to consent on behalf of third party applications. Because like I said, anything you put into the free version of ChatGPT fundamentally or could train the large language model. Thank you very much.